Hello children, welcome to another marvellous episode of Magic Roundabout With me, Danny Bush Blair Hey, you're gay What did you say, Peter? Hey. I'm gay? Why, of course I'm gay Gay means happy Aren't you gay, Peter? No. You little squirt <laughs> in love with a girl named Jack. People didn't like to see them kiss cause Jack was white and Jill was black. And everybody knows that black is bad. Black is dark and that's not good. Black people don't even have real houses. They live in their anoraks, apparently the hood. Whenever there was no people around, they would sneak and creep around. Sleep around each other's house where their beds make this creaking sound. If only you could see them now. He's standing up and she's kneeling down. Anyway, back to the reading now. Everybody thought Jill was the thief in town. For no apparent reason, the people in town would see him and just beat him down He runs home to his big black family Bleeding, leaking, screaming Then one day he went into his father's cupboard And discovered this piece of black metal that was covered He put it in his pocket and took it out to the street The people that beat him down wanna speak That's when he found out that the metal does magic So every time he had it all he had to do was squeeze The people that used to beat him down would scream Then all of a sudden they fall asleep ha, You see Jill, he found the magic metal Do you have a magic metal? Check in your father's cupboard Or maybe I'm the your big brother's bed. It could be hidden in a sock. Go look around. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Jemima. Face so ugly, she looked like a spider. Isn't a dog alive that would want to sit beside her? Boys wouldn't spit on her, not even for a fiver. She had a flat chest and very stiff breath, and one of her eyelids would slant to the left. Even the nerds in the class didn't like her. As soon as they see her, they start to play chess. Then one day, when looking in the mirror, she discovered these two round lumps upon her chest. The more cupcakes she ate, they got bigger. So big that one day they ripped off her vest. They grew, and all of the girls said, ooh. And all of the nerds in the class said, cool. The boys that used to take her for a fool wanted to link up with her. After school, she followed this boy David to his house where he put one of them lumps in his mouth. Jemima was making all types of sounds, but none of the noises she made said ouch. Dave reached down and Dave said, Boy, because he felt something hard like a toy. Jemima laughed and said, My real name is Jamie, and I'm not a girl, just a very fat boy. See, Jemima was a hermaphrodite. Can you say hermaphrodite? Say it. Hermaphrodite. No. Anyway, these things happen. There's absolutely nothing we can do about it, kids. Anyway, keep listening. Once upon a time, there was a man named James who got married to a woman named Shirley who woke up early to iron his shirt and as soon as he went to work, she would open her nursery. She was so loving, but so was her husband. Problem is, he wasn't loving her because after giving her five kids a 30, he was in a hotel doing the dirty with his secretary named Mandy who had a bad boyfriend called Joe who had a gay boyfriend called Andy. Andy's a hoe. Andy had lurkies. The lurkies are fast. Now they're living in Shirley and to her health, that's detrimental. This is a lesson, but nerdies can be stopped by that thing on the top of a pencil. And now we go, see, that's a lesson we could all learn from. What's on the top of a pencil? Uh, Rilla. No. A condom. No, it's actually an eraser. Oh. Anyway, boys and girls, you have been wonderful today. I'm Danny Bush Blair, and I'm saying tally-ho, toodaloo. Bye-bye.